up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Silvia and this is Mas Masa Latina Living. So today I have a very delicious recipe for you guys. I shared it in my Instagram stories and everybody was like, show me how to do it. So I thought, well, let's do it. And it is fun. The days are getting nice and cool and there's actually rain today here in Southern California. So that is great. Uh, unless you have to like be driving around and that's not good. So this is a perfect recipe for this weather and I am going to tweak it a little bit, make it a little more um, friendly for those who work or have uh, children in the home. I will be making some modifications from what I've seen done. So I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and let's get started. We are going to be making chicken pho. So you will obviously need chicken. I have three pieces of the thigh portion. You will need ginger, onion, lime. This is like Hawaiian basil or Thai basil. You will also need dried licorice. You can find dried licorice at your local Asian market. You will need a cinnamon stick, jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, some chives. You will need bean sprouts, rock candy or rock sugar. You will also need rice noodle and you can find it at your local Asian market. And these are the skinny type, but you can also use the thick one. Or if you find the fresh kind, you're more than welcome to use that as well. So this is where I'm gonna cheat a little. Instead of cooking the entire chicken, I am going to be using chicken bone broth. And I found this at my local Staters, but I'm pretty sure you can find it in a lot of produce stores. This is all you will need to actually make the pho. First thing you're gonna do is cut your onion in half and then cut your ginger in half as well. If you're wondering how much ginger you're going to use, uh, this is the size of my hand and this is for four pieces of chicken thigh. So kinda, the more chicken you use, the more um, ginger you will need. I'm going to broil them for about 15 minutes until they are charred. You're gonna need half a stick of cinnamon bark, a slice of dried licorice, and a small piece of rock sugar. If you can't find rock sugar, you can use one tablespoon of lightly brown sugar. The next step is I'm going to toast the cinnamon bark and the dried licorice. Toasting it will bring out those delicious flavors, rich flavors that you find in the pho. I'm going to place the ginger root and the cinnamon bark in a strainer, tea strainer, uh, just because I had a hard time finding it last time and that way they're easier to locate. I'm also going to add my charred onions. The ginger. I'm going to add the chicken thighs. You can use breast or whatever. I am going to add the bone broth and equal parts water. This is the fastest way and the easiest way to make this dish. As you can see, the chicken is still not covered, so I am actually gonna add more water to this just to make sure it is completely covered. There we go. I am going to throw in the rock sugar, one to two teaspoons or tablespoons, however you like it, of salt. You can use kosher salt as well. And you can also add fish sauce, but I am going to eliminate that part. But if you're a little daring, go ahead and add it. You're gonna let this simmer together for about 30 minutes. So 10 minutes in, you're gonna wanna remove the licorice and the cinnamon bark. And then also you're gonna wanna remove the little layer of like chicken fat or whatever the chicken releases. You're gonna re wanna remove all that foamy layer from the broth. 
And you want to do that every so often as soon as it accumulates because the key to a good pho broth is actually to have a clear broth. So you want to start removing that as soon as it accumulates. After you do that, you're gonna let it simmer for another uh, 20 minutes and it should be done. Once it's fully cooked, you're gonna take your chicken out and you are going to cut it into little chunks or you can just shred it, it's totally up to you. I like to remove the fat that is on the chicken and also cut it into chunks. So now I'm gonna prepare the noodles. The package that I have comes in three different sections, so I'm just gonna pull a section out, and I think that I'm gonna use one of these per bowl, or half, depending if it's a child or an adult. Uh, for myself, I'll probably just use half. Your water has to be boiling hot for the noodles to cook well, but you can always follow the instructions in the bag, and it will guide you right through it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in here. Have some chopsticks ready, handy, so that you can stir it and make sure that it cooks well. I am going to occasionally stir it and move it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of my pot. Have your bowl ready so that you can add the noodles in there. Since I do add them straight from the pot to the bowl after straining it, I don't have to rinse them out. But if you're gonna set them aside, make sure you strain them, run them under cold water, then under warm water again, and then serve. Okay, so I have my noodles and my chicken in my bowl, and now I'm going to add some of the condiments. And this is my favorite part. I'm just gonna add some bean sprouts, put it on here, add a couple of the bay leaves. These are Hawaiian. They usually use Thai bay leaves, but these are Hawaiian. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I'm gonna add some jalapeno in there, some cilantro, and some cebollita. Why am I talking in Spanish? I don't know. We're also gonna add some chives in there. And now we're gonna add the super mega hot broth. Smells amazing. You know, when we go to the restaurant and we order pho, we think it's probably like an impossible dish, but honestly, if you prep a day before with all the ingredients, that day of will just be super, super easy. I'm gonna add some sriracha. Who doesn't love sriracha sauce? I'm going to add some of the hoisin sauce. I don't add too much of the hoisin sauce, I just need it a little bit. So it's just personal preference, guys. Friends, I'm gonna add some chili garlic sauce just to add a little bit more of a flavoring in there. I'm not gonna add too much, I just need a little bit in there. You cannot forget the lemon. Well, for us Mexicans, lemon and lime is the same thing in Spanish, limon, but it is lime. And there you go. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's try it. Well, here you have it, pho made at home, and it smells so good, guys. It smells just like it does at the restaurant. And well, let me try it out here in front of you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. It really tastes like in the restaurant. In the end, it's just personal preference. If you want to add more seasoning to it, like salt or, you know, some of the chili, the lime or whatever, it's totally up to you. But I must say that this recipe is really, really delicious, guy. Mmm. You guys definitely have to try it. Like I said, I tweaked it a little. It would probably take longer if you actually cook the chicken whole, and you can actually do that as well. But I wanted to save some time, and I wanted to save you guys some energy. So this is a nice little hack to do it, and you can also do the beef. That requires a little more in-depth, like, preparation, because you do have to, like, cook the bone and stuff like that, and it's like three to four different types of meat pieces so 
But anyway, the chicken is pretty simple to make and it's super delicious. You guys should definitely try it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you liked what you saw. If you want to see more recipes, let me know. I have a few in mind. And of course, they're not always going to be like traditional Mexican cooking. I'll leave that up to my other channel in Abuela's Kitchen. So I have more of a variety of recipes here on my channel. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, bye. Latina in the house.